Lately, Dave and I have been getting the question, what was it like living in a van for the first time? Well, it went a little something like this. Point, I think. Is yes. that right? It's like, well, it's a road, and then there'll be pull offs along it. Cool. And look, we got, we can, we're about to catch a sunset. Y'all, look at that. The sun is right there. Right. It's going to be gorgeous. You can pull off anywhere, actually. But they, they have a step up, and they have skylights from the top. Yeah, and they have that little car there. All right. Here comes the washboard. Yeah. Wow, this is really bumpy. It's kind of like, oh, yes. the road. So the real challenge now is, as you can see, there's no bathroom. So we're gonna try and find a spot here where we can kind of hunker down, maybe park in a way so we have a little bit of privacy if we need to, you know, yeah, fertilize the lawn, if you know what I mean. <laughs> this road, kind of as we're going up, it sort of reminds me, does it not remind you of like Peru? As we're kind of going up to do oh, yeah. the track, and yes. it was like this kind of bumpy road all the way through that in that band. That's right. That's true. This is exactly it. So there's a, we've done this before. Feels a little different. Uh, like there's a rock up here. Oh yeah, I see you on top there. Olive. Oh mama. We have found the perfect spot. Right now, it's all to ourselves. There is Pearl turning into a gorgeous spot so that we can capture out of our bedroom window those views. Really nice spot and apparently we can campfire here from what we read. So we're gonna have a campfire, we're gonna have a hobo dinner and we're probably gonna turn in early. So after finally setting things up at camp, Dave and I were pretty tired. So we decided to save the hobo dinner for another night and just go with the simple pasta and sauce. All right, so while that is on and rocking, heating up. Pasta's boiling. Ooh, kind sir. What do we got going on over well, here? I'm gonna try a little campfire here. And I'm actually trying a trick from a fellow YouTuber who actually would dip uh, cotton balls in some petroleum jelly. And yeah. uh, what actually serves that, that nice fire starter. We're gonna try that, see how it is. I have not tried it before. Oh my god. So here we go, let's see how it goes. Cotton ball trick. Let's see how it works with a little petroleum jelly. Cotton ball with petroleum. Kind of Whoa, mama! Let's see how it works. With the kindling? Yeah. Wow. Nice job. I think that's gonna do it. Good idea. Here we go. This is fun. Oh nice. What you got there? Well, these are the chairs. You got, we gotta put them together, so I gotta figure out oh. how it works. But right, uh, okay. So it's just a matter of putting them together yeah. like a puzzle. Yeah, this actually comes with our rental, mm -hmm. right? So I'll let you do that. Okay, yeah. So then I'll go ahead and work on the uh, work on yeah, dinner. We'll see if I can get this done. Hopefully by the time you're back here, it'll be all yes. set. Yes, I'll, I'll be back to if check not, in you in just a second. You have to uh, fix it. <laughs> He's gonna do it. He's good at that stuff. Yeah. yeah. 
Wowie wowie. Yeah, thanks, babe. It's you, amazing. You're thanks so much. welcome. Wow. Really nice. I know. A little, oh, let's try and squeeze into this chair here. We're not falling over. <laughs> yeah, it's a little wobbly, these little things. Pasta yeah, a little pasta. Yeah, a little Grand Canyon beer. First night boondocky. Yeah, it's incredible. And I don't feel scared at all. Not yet. But that hasn't not come yet. yet. <laughs> I think when I have to use the bathroom, yeah. that's when the real scariness comes because exactly. it's black. We have all the toilets off. I know. Yeah. And off yonder. But you're going to be my guard, my toilet boy. Oh, yeah, you got Toilet I'm, boy. I'll go out with you. Toilet boy. Exactly. Well, I am so excited. Yeah, I'm ready to dive into this. Thanks. This looks great. Smells Cheers great. Cheers for our first night. Cheers for our first night. Love you. Love you. Mm. Oh, that tastes All good. Right. Damn, that's nice. So the first night, we're just about to turn in. The first night seems a bit, it's cool, but you really have to adjust to the fact that this ceiling here is really low and yes. really low. And look, Dave over there. Yeah. Look at those feet. Yeah, I'm I mean, not sure. Yeah, I may need a van that has a little bit longer, uh, a little bit longer bed. A little more leg room. A little more bed. Yeah, I kind of like to stretch out. So far, so good. Yeah, We're liking it. Well, it's fine for like, a, say, a week vacation. I don't know if we could live in this thing no. year-round kind of thing. No, but I think it's cool to say that we could definitely do this. If we can do this, we could do a bigger one. Oh yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. So I, I, oh my god, yeah. Oh my god. This well, I have is... no doubt. I have no doubt we could do it. It's just a matter of figuring out exactly what we want. Yeah, that's true, that's true. I need some tea. So we made it through our first night. Some tossing and turning, Dave having to go out in the pitch black to use the bathroom, me being a little nervous about that, and those creepy crawlers out there. But regardless of all that, we made it. Good morning, it's about six o'clock. Dave and I, I would say the first night was a great night's sleep. Um, Almost didn't feel like we were in a camper van outside the fact that Dave had to curl up yeah. quite a bit to, uh, to fit. Um, but it was really comfortable. Um, cool, great air circulation because of the fan. And uh, fortunately, I did not have to use the bathroom because I was a little afraid. It's really dark out there. <laughs> right. so I didn't have to use it. But it was a good night's sleep overall. Great success. We definitely need to figure out a little bit more organization in a van of this size or even camper vanning. Um, it's quite messy in here, but it did not stop us from getting a good night's sleep. Uh, we actually were able to get a little work done as well. I will tell you, waking up, pulling back that curtain and then looking over and seeing mountains on like two sides of the van are just beautiful and incredible. And to think that that could be your home on the road <laughs> every view you you choose um lake view mountain views could be your home seems really cool all right so now time for a tour of pearl our camper van look at this here we go let's see if they're ready hello welcome to so we figured we give you guys a little quick tour um, today of this cute camper that we have here. And yeah, we'll go for start from there. So when you first come in here, obviously it's definitely not a high riser, but look how awesome the detail is in here. I love how they have the dimmable LED lights, which kind of surrounds the interior. So at night, it's really nice. Of course, I, the woodwork is unreal. I know, I mean, look at that. Isn't it incredible? It's so nice. It's so nice. It's really kind of cozy. Exactly. And this is really kind of camper vanning in our opinion because obviously you can see there's no toilet. Uh oh, no toilet. <laughs> no shower. There's a toilet. No, actually there is a shower. We'll show you that one. It's really interesting. Yes. We'll show you that one at the end because I think it's pretty darn cool. Um, this office is like a butcher block countertop here. You have sink with running water. Um, it's insulated, so it's really nice. What's really cool too is these curtains are blackout curtains. So if you want to sleep later, you certainly can. Uh, but because it's nice and insulated in here, at nighttime, uh, it tends to drop down right around this time of the year anyway, 40 degrees here. So it can get pretty cold. So I'm definitely going to be warming up my toesies on Dave this evening. <laughs> but what's cool too is like, there's a lot of space here. Um, you know, with the running water, you have the cabinetry here. Um, we already stocked up on groceries, so I won't be showing you that in there, but this is just like extra space where we have some goodies we already stored in here as well. Uh, 
I love this as well here. We kind of pointed out a really cool spot so that we can enjoy one a campfire with the nice views. But the bed here, it's like a queen size bed. So it'll certainly fit the both of us. I really think Dave, on the other hand, uh, yeah, because my feet are already touching and Dave is like 6'2". Yeah, I think my feet so may be pushing. I may have to actually bend my uh, legs in this one. <laughs> yeah, I think, so we... I think so too. Or we can actually try this way and see what our feet yeah. are hanging out. But check this out. Wow. Look at that view. Look at that from here. Look at that view. So that right there is what we are going to wake up to in the morning. This is also what we're going to just chill here so we can see the fire burning while we're sitting around the fire. It's just amazing. A little vintage fan up here, which is great. So if it gets really hot, you can suck the air out or you can suck the air in. Um, up front, up there is just our two seats. But what's cool is the seat, the passenger seat. Yeah. Right? Okay. Oh yeah, it seat turns around. It actually turns around, super cool. But this is not half of the coolness of this van. Now, it looks really tiny, but it's certainly mighty. So give me a second. I'll see you guys outside. I have to put my shoes back on. Oh, Dave had his shoes on in here, so it's all dirty. Oh no. Oh, uh, all right, so. Just to let you know, you might be thinking, I think I mentioned before, where's your refrigerator? This is our refrigerator uh -oh. right here. Basically, this is kind of what it is. You know, it's kind of a, a weekendish sort of vibe, um, you know, thing to do. You're gonna have to get ice daily, but we're prepared. We got, we actually grocery shopped perfectly to allow us to manage what we can put into this cooler. Well, we don't need to put into the cooler, but it's nice, just a little cooler. One woman has our stuff in it. Yeah, so let me just show you the, the rest of this really quick. Oh boy, oh boy. So, here, I'm gonna show you where our kitchen is. So, you're just gonna pop this little latch here. You pull this puppy out. How cool is this? It's like a coffin. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's one way to think of it. It's a very it's small really coffin, cool. though. It's kind of like your butcher block cooktop. Right underneath here, they have just about everything you need. There's a propane stove um, here. Yeah. Um, which you're gonna put up there, you can kind of do your cooking. There's two chairs so that you can kind of sit outside and enjoy it. Um, you can probably, in my, in my opinion, you could probably eat standing up if it's something quick. Or if you have a table, you can do that. We're gonna check to see if you have it. I don't know if we do, but we can make it our own. We're just, we're living on land, feeling free. Um, towels are in here, supplied for us, which are really nice. You know to have this little section here so it's it's very it's set up very nicely and comfortable but you might be thinking okay you said there was a shower let me show you <laughs> all right now it's not a warm shower just want to let you know that but in here there's basically let me step up here let me show you guys this there's a tank here uh, with water so once you kind of start the pump for the sink and everything else here, it turns on this water here and it, this valve kind of helps to shift the water to your shower head. Oh, there you go. It's your outdoor shower. Woohoo, outdoor shower. Right. Now it's a cold shower, but in the heat of Arizona, you might like a little cold Yeah, shower. maybe the tank will warm up in the, in the van. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and so maybe you'll have a little bit of a warm shower. Exactly. So it opens up nicely enough for you to separate your space. Hook it on up. You hook it on up. And there you go. Scrub a dub dub. Scrub a dub dub. Wash that hair. Scrub a dub dub. Get the fuck. Scrub a dub. Scrub a dub. Scrub a dub. Scrub a dub. Very nice. Scrub a dub. Scrub a dub. What's interesting though is there's not a lot of character to this particular van on the outside, but that could be really great. I mean, that could be pretty much a yeah, you're incognito. Yes, right. Exactly. You don't really incognito. know. Incognito. And also up above they have solar panels, which is great yes. too. I think this is a. A good start. I'm really excited. I'm sure. I'm sure you guys can feel my excitement. Now, the one thing I will say is there's no bathroom, so we're gonna have to make do with Mother Nature. But the reason we park this way is because nature will be our <laughs> Nature is calling us. Nature will be our bathroom. La, 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 la. So yes. That is Pearl, and her name is Pearl, which is really, really cool, by the way. I know it's like Pearl White, but also, if you guys don't remember, Dave and I share the same birthday on June 18th. That is also the Pearl. So, that's the gym for June. Well, I'm excited. Yes. So Pearl has done a great job. Dave has done a great job. I have to, I have to kind of- Well, thank you. Yes. Turn See, here's, here's Pearl right here. Yay, look at Pearl. She's a beast. 
And look at like it, got a, they got that sunset coming. And that is going to be a nice icing on the cake here where Dave and I, we actually got some beer, some wine to just chill for the evening. We're gonna sit up right here and watch the sunset. So thank you guys. It was a really quick one to show you guys that. We hope you guys are uh, excited for us because we're excited and we will see you next time because it is time for us to eat, sleep, rock and roll y'all. Good night. Ow! <laughs> Good morning. Let me tell you, it's really quite an adjustment getting used to living in such small quarters. Figuring out a daily routine, some organization, remembering what day of the week it is. You learn quickly what you can live with and what you can live without, including this. Oof, yes. There's just one thing that I think I would totally recommend to anyone that's doing a van life is get screens, bug screens, because once you open up the doors, there's like four or five different variety of bugs that we've already seen. And I don't mind the bugs as long as they're not on me or buzzing constantly around me. But they are definitely ready to chomp on something. But I would definitely say get screens. Screens would probably help with that. Plus, I think at night, sometimes you want to have like that fresh air coming through. So for us, you know, I think we would definitely, if we were to have a van, one, we'd have it a little higher so we can stand up because my knees are chafing. I've been on them so long washing dishes or whatever we have to do in here. But also, we only have a little fan. And so we really want to get that cool breeze at night here because it can get down to like the 50s. You heard the 40s. And we like that. We like crispy cold air. So, yeah. Bug nets. <laughs> you can see someone was having fun here. Got some spent cartridges on the ground. There's another one. Draw! And one thing about this campsite, there are some serious ant colonies. I mean, check this out. Wow. They're busy. How's that grapefruit? You peeled a mean <laughs> grapefruit. What in hell of a grapefruit? It's really good. I mean, it's super juicy. It's nice having that extra burst of vitamin C. Oh, yeah. I'm kind of spoiled by nice orange juice in the morning. Oh, that fresh squeeze I think of all juice. these flies here buzzing around are dying for a little vitamin C, too. Or a little vitamin B, blood. <laughs> I want to burn myself. No. So we didn't quite make it up to... I mean, obviously, we talked a little about this yesterday. We didn't quite make it up to uh, Nolan Tank. Yeah, we didn't head all the, that way, but... Bumpy roads. But uh, we're on 525 here, and this is actually a great spot to boondock. I mean, yeah. Really nice. There are like a lot of little pull-offs. I think right. initially I was afraid we weren't going to really find a comfortable spot at first. Because right. people were like all along the trails, you know, all along 525 towards the front. Exactly. Already parked in. There's definitely, I mean, the dirt road is definitely washboard, so your uh, <laughs> you know, van definitely rattled quite a bit. Yeah, that's for sure. Oh, and we want to make sure we put on some block today. A little bit of home, a little bit of luxury. Wow, I love right. you. Oh, this yeah. is it. This All is right. it. Hey, babe. Yeah. Want to pack up, get going? I think that's probably a good idea. Let's do it. All right, pretty easy to close camp here. Not too much stuff. These things are pretty good. Will we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright.
Wow, there's really something about the amazing landscape here in Arizona. That red rock, oh, just so beautiful. Oh, it's amazing. It's a beautiful spot. All around you, too, you kind of look 360 and it's just amazing. It's actually, you know, it dries well. It doesn't feel heavy. Like, you know, bigger RVs, you just feel like you're driving something so heavy, you feel the weight of it. This one, this is pretty light. You know, as far as these things go, I mean, this is really light. I like braking, you don't really, it feels pretty normal. Buzz crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Oh, you and I, we got it. Oh, we don't need no more. Oh, even in the hard times. Ah, just stopping here for a few seconds just to stretch our legs and this is the view. I know, we're just driving up Sedona to Flagstaff about maybe 15, 20 miles away from Flagstaff and up about 6,000 feet. Look at this, amazing. Amazing. This is a really popular rock climbing wall. Yeah. I saw someone go right down over right there. Down. Yeah. This, the, this little orange rope is right there and he just went right on down that yeah. way, no problem. Really cool. All down there. Oh, that's for next Close, year. Close enough. We'll pick up rock climbing next year. We'll be we'll be back next year. Next year. <laughs> So that was a great little find and stop here. I think it's part of the Coquino National Park or Cochino, or not sure exactly how to pronounce that, but it's like a scenic viewpoint. And so we saw a lot of folks, you know, going in one direction and Dave and I like, we might want to avoid all those folks that are kind of standing too close together. So Dave's like, let's go this way. And sure enough, the path was amazing. What a great little find. So I think now we get a little bit of, a little exercise in for the day so far. Time to replenish the groceries, maybe get some gas for the vehicle before heading to our next camp spot. Now, it does seem a little busier up here. Um, so we'll see. I mean, it looks like a lot of the campgrounds as we passed, a lot of them had signs that said full. So we'll see if we get a spot. Or we might be boondocking on the side of the highway. <laughs> oh, All right, the groceries are done. Nice <laughs> beef jerky and kombucha. Yeah, not all good stuff. You never had kombucha before. No. What you think about it? We'll see. Yeah. See how it is. have officially now entered Flagstaff and it's at a elevation of 6,900 feet. How do you feel? I feel pretty good. I, a little, little headachey. I think it's more from dehydration, but a bit of um, altitude too, I think. Yeah, me too. I feel like if we just keep drinking water, I'll be fine. But the pressure is a slight... You feel a little bit, right? A little bit. A little bit. It's so beautiful though. Oh my gosh. The mountains around. All right, so... That wasn't too bad. Finding this spot was a little difficult, but don't you think it was a, a good move for us to stop here? Oh yeah, I thought it was really cool. We, we went all the way to Ash, what's it called? Ash, Ashurst. Ashurst Lake and I uh, went to the campsite there. I don't know, didn't really think we needed to pay 20 bucks a night yeah. for a spot. And, um, and it's also, we like, we're a little bit more like, you know, we want more privacy. So I right. Like, Especially since we don't have a bathroom in here, so it's going to be tough to really find a spot to cut a squat. <laughs> yeah, it's a really neat spot. Really, really quiet, like you said, and it's really kind of cool, too. It's basically um, full of volcanic yeah. rock. Everything's volcanic here. I'm not sure how long ago, when they I'm sure it was many, many millennium ago when they had a, a volcanic explosion here, but it's just full of that. The whole area is just full of volcanic rocks. Oh. Yes, oh, a wasp. Uh oh, watch out. Oh, wasp coming wasp in. Watch out. Now, we can't have a campfire, which is too bad. No, it's too bad. Right? So, right. I mean, we're I guess thinking it's... of our hobo dinner tonight, but I'm going to recreate something for a special. Yeah. Stew. yeah, I guess it's too dry here to have a fire, so they, are, they basically 
that prevented that everybody can't have campfires yeah. now in the well, area. So it's really dry. I mean, I get out the car and it's like it's covered in like complete dust. Yes. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna make some sandwiches for us. We're gonna figure this out. Maybe just chill that we're here right now. Kind of get things kind of situated for the night since it's kind of getting later in the day. And then maybe plan out like a hike. Yeah, sure, we can yeah, kind of do that. Cool. There's definitely some trails around here we could try. this I don't think I've ever camped outside of like my own backyard like having a tent I think my mom was so afraid right. of having us camp it was like I don't know not gonna happen what about uh, you yeah. I mean you probably uh, went all the time yeah as a kid you know Opa was uh, very much uh, into camping it was like a Eagle Scout and all that kind of stuff so it would take us out and it was kind of fun you know, because I never liked the bugs either. So yeah. I relate to that. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. But, uh, so what do you think so far? I am really enjoying it. I mean, we definitely need more height for us. If we're going to be fine for a few days, but if we're going to live in something, yeah. we need to be able to stand up straight. That's like... You that, know, at least mostly straight. That, that's toilet paper. Don't worry about that. But that's like... Oh, yeah. Seriously. And you're like six two yeah, I would and a half. Yeah, like, I, would, I would definitely hurt my back. And then even here, I'd prefer... To have more length here so i can actually straighten up a little bit more yeah. right so it's a little bit tight on that so need a little bit more size on this for sure this should be a fun little trail yes arizona trail pine grove quiet area i see so Pretty it goes neat. all along here in this horse like way up there but we obviously won't go that far you, you can take this a long way to wow. all the way to flagstaff oh, holy yeah. crap that's the arizona trail that's cool nice that's pretty neat it's a 790 mile non-motorized trail traversing the entire state of Arizona. Holy crap! Oh, that's cool. Ooh, this, this is, is cool. cool. This is, I didn't realize they had an Arizona trail. So I didn't either. And we actually cool. parked right next to it. Right. Now, we probably can't do a lot of this right now because no. we got to get back and get supper going. Absolutely. But maybe if we stayed here tomorrow, we get up early and we try to do a really good hike of this cool. and see how far we can go back yeah, after breakfast. Give us a nice up there. That's beautiful. That'd be fun, right? Yeah, walk through some of the campgrounds. I like the sound of that. Wish that I could stay in this moment forever So I can hold you in my arms I will carry you on my shoulders as long as I'm able Scare the monsters on the open Deep in the All right, this here is our outdoor shower. Just took a nice shower to get fresh from all of this mud. Fresh and clean. So we just took our first showers in Pearl. Pearl took care of us on the outdoor shower. How was your shower? It was good, a little cold. A little cold. It wasn't too bad though. A little say. cold. I mean, you had the most incredible shuffle. You were like, shuffle, 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 shuffle. It was shuffle, yeah. shuffle. We got some really of cool. the dust off. It's so dusty oh here. My God. It's this volcanic ash. And also probably from soot, maybe soot. from the fires, yeah. the forest fires. So. Exactly. I just feel so fresh and clean. It just, yeah. it just, it just feels great now we can actually have a good dinner. Absolutely. Right? Here you go, my love. Oh, my hi. amazing wife. Thanks Thank so much. You. Thank you. My really incredible appreciate husband. This. Kind of mastering the uh, kind of the back of the van. So I'm gonna make a nice little goulash. I'm gonna surprise you with that. Okay, that's so how about you? It's so frustrating because I went through the supermarket and like had this darn recipe. <laughs> I went and picked every damn piece. I know. And then it's like, but we can't have a campfire, so we can't so do we our can't do our can't do the hobo the hobo, hobo dinner. dinner. So next time. Next time. Love you, babe. Love you. All right, music. Okay. Yeah. So totally have to make a recreation of our hobo dinner. Uh, I'll probably just make some potato. I'm gonna slice up to make it really quick since we have a small propane tank, so this way it cooks faster. But I might make like a potato potato wheat onion sort of like chips and then a nice mushroom um 
scallions and onion burger, which would be kind of nice. So like burger and chips. So let's see how this comes out. You know, not having a kitchen or a fridge in the van, we really had to learn to make good use of what we got. If you remember, our refrigerator is nothing more than a cooler that we had to use ice to keep things cold. So we've even had to get more creative when it comes to grocery shopping. But I will tell you this, this small sort of butcher block island you see right here that pulls out really served its multi-purpose use well. All right, back to cooking dinner. My goodness gracious. I know. Oh, it smells so good. Nice golden brown onions going Raisin. in there. I'm about to throw in the garlic. Ooh. Just let it sit in there for a couple of seconds, just to kind of take shape. I have that nice crumbled up hamburg meat with scallions. And of course, oh. you got nice boiling over here, the uh, potatoes Ooh, with the that. onion and scallions oh and goodness, all goodness. the different flavorings. That's gonna be really nice. I'm gonna take those chips out of there. Once this is done, I'm gonna transfer them in here to kind of crunch them up a little wow. bit. It's going to be a smorgasbord of deliciousness, <laughs> as long as the propane tank lasts. <laughs> oh, no, it's gonna last. We can put a new one on. Oh, I'm Unbelievable. Ah oh, man, what a night. I tell you, an amazing night. And if you could smell what Tyne is cooking right now, it just smells amazing. I cannot wait for dinner. It's just going to be awesome. Um, it's funny, we had planned to have a hobo dinner, basically cook our dinner in our campfire. But because of the weather, the dryness, they aren't allowing campfires. So we can't have a campfire tonight. So we had to actually cook on the propane. So it totally changed up our plans. Uh, but Tanya is really creative, right, and loves being creative in the kitchen too. And this includes, you know, includes being at a campsite. And uh, she's making something that smells so good right now. It's going to be awesome. Can't wait. Uh, my babe takes care of me really, really, really well. I love her so much, and uh, can't wait for can't, can't wait for dinner tonight. And also, you know, rest of our days together here on the road here doing uh, some uh, camper van. And I think uh, we're gonna have an amazing time. Well, I know we're gonna have an amazing time. Anyway. Wow, for you, you, it's hot. Thank you, my love. That's hot, amazing. Hot, 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 hot. Ooh, that is so good. Oh, I'm it is hot to join you. Ooh, mama mia. You gotta take a bite. What do you think? Okay. Be honest, because you know we mix with the ingredients that I used here. Mmm. You like it? That's so good. With salt and pepper to amazing. taste. Mm. Potatoes. Yay! Amazing. Thanks, baby. That's You're awesome. So welcome. That's awesome. Unbelievable, master, master chef. Here Thank we go. Thank you. Wow. I am spoiled. You spoiled are. rotten. Yay. Those are great. Thank you, hon. Cheers. Cheers, my love. Boom. Do this too. Boom. Thanks, wow, hon. it actually came out surprisingly well. I love it. It's almost like super hearty. Yeah, I'm not surprised though, because you were making it. Thank you. It was really good. I just wanted to give us like a nice, really good meal. Oh yeah. Mmm. For the night. I'm gonna be ready to sleep and get up super early to try to see some elk. Yes, that would be so much fun. Right? Was yeah. elk? I mean, apparently. We might even see some back here. We might. All the elk poop so, pieces all back there. There's poop all over there's this like place. There's like poop everywhere. So after a great day and a good meal, we like to have a glass of wine and enjoy the alpine glow of the sun setting on the trees. To us, this is definitely a perfect way to end a day in the van life. So we did find a perfect and private spot at this campsite to park Pearl. Now it was private enough for our outdoor shower and since there was no toilet inside of our camper van, we had privacy in that way too. Now, one thing Dave and I really enjoy is hiking. So today, we decided to get up early, have some breakfast and explore a little of the Arizona Trail. There are a lot of choices waiting to be made. Too many choices making me afraid. Dreams are not the same for me. Standing by the shore, while you're on the open sea, cannot take this.
there's yeah. so much elk poop. Yeah, it's all over. Home of the elks. Living with the elks. Exactly. If only for a day. Yeah, all right, starting the trail. Adding our little touches to it right. to let us know we were here. Our own carts. Here we are. All right. Start of the trail. And it's, it's warm out. It's really warm out. Yeah. It's, it's super hot. Yeah. I mean, obviously, we're a lot closer to the sun being 7,000 feet up. Yeah. So it's more intense. So definitely put on your sunblock. Really important to use yeah. that sunblock. How do you feel on it? I feel great. I really do. I feel like this is definitely something. We really enjoy hiking, yeah. and I'm I'm excited to hopefully see some elk here. I mean, it's really wow. beautiful. Look at that! You're just covered by all this great forest. It's beautiful. And I love the pine needles. Right. The forest. I know. It reminds me of camp. Yeah. Big time. How do you feel with that pack on? That's mighty heavy. I feel good. I do like, you? The pack kind of balances me out. I feel like. Oh, you like it? I mean, look at those calves. Those calves are. Amazing. It balances me out until it doesn't. Until <laughs> my shoulder starts aching. Until your shoulder aches. And I'm like, ah, oh, my shoulder's killing me. I believe this is a ponderosa pine. And one thing about these, these can actually withstand forest fires. And it looks like this one has over the years. Yeah. I believe it has. You can see within there, almost like the bark's you know, quite a bit darker. And I think that actually is the fact. Tons the of moisture. Of a forest fire. And uh, so the fire will come through, knock out all the lower level brush yeah and these will kind of hold on you can almost, almost see the whole forest is that way I there's know. not really a lot of stuff underneath they must have a lot of moisture retention in them to okay. prevent that that's really cool They're really beautiful trees is that an elk is that the sound of an elk i don't believe so that's the sound of a harley baby oh my goodness it's like an opera wow If he came in here and he took a poop, yeah, or he was, he was doing something he shouldn't have been and got nervous. Thought I was losing who I call myself today. In this world of illusions, didn't dare to sing my name. That was when you came along. And yeah, probably at the maybe the spring runoff, you probably get water down this. Yeah, all the volcanic rock. I know. Dry bed right now, but probably in the spring, water comes up. Yeah, you need that. It is hot. Probably a great like horseback riding area, right? You just see how dusty everything is. Yeah, that's Everything's crazy. so dry. That's amazing. So gorgeous. And it's really not, it's not kind of a country that we're used to, no. right? I mean, this terrain looks quite a bit different from what we're used to seeing. And so it's desert-like. Yeah, it's desert-like with these beautiful pines. Yeah. Now this is, this is really interesting. We've seen this a number of times now where there's these full bottles of uh, spring water just kind of laid out along the trail and i'm wondering if it's something that they do i'm not sure who does that but it's for kind of emergency purposes to get water because obviously it gets really hot here we've seen it a number of times just a full spring water bottle really interesting this is a great example of the forest fire damage but the trees actually survived if you look at that all these bases are all just black but the trees survived as the fire came through just incredible yeah. The next shaded spot, I'll have a little water. Okay. Just a little sip. I have a lot. Uh, Don't hold back. Uh, thank you. Have a lot of it. Big sip. Thank you very much. Mm. What we do is maybe the next stop we'll have a maybe an apple. That's a good idea. I have an itch on my back. Oh no! Where is it? Let me get it. Uh, right, in that sweaty spot. Right here. <laughs> All right, actually, right there. Right there. Right there. That's so itchy. Oh, I got you, babe. I got All you. All right, there we go. There That's you go. true love. True love. True love. Thank you, babe. <laughs> you know, it's moments like these that really makes us feel that living the van life is for us. That feeling of home is wherever you go. Taking amazing hikes and really just finding that little bit of peace within yourself. Higher ground. 
May you always keep your head held up high Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Just the sight of you when I'm at my weakest point Makes a world of difference, oh you make me strong Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Order in a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong Plant your seeds and watch them grow The light will always know where to go You will always keep my heart and soul strong Alright, we have such a long walk back. You think like maybe humming a tune or singing something might lessen the time? Do you know of a good like hiking tune? Uh, I'm not familiar with any. Can you make up something? <laughs> 99 bottles of beer on the wall. Oh, 99 that. bottles of beer. Take them down, pass it around. 98 bottles of beer on the wall. 98 bottles of beer on the wall. 98 bottles of beer. Take them down, pass it around. 97 bottles of beer on the wall. Ooh, yeah. 97 bottles of beer on the wall. 97 bottles of beer. Take them down, pass it around. 96 bottles of beer on the wall. So here's a nice treat. We didn't yeah. catch any elk. I know, right? But we did happen to find two incredible folks out here now horseback riding. And they have their little guy along the way leading the pack. Hello. Look, leading the pack. Hello. Hello. Oh, wow. Hi. Hi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here oh, today. Oh, lovely. That's great, huh? See, what a nice treat. Yeah. No elk, but beautiful horses. Not a nice way to travel. So, this might seem like an easy hike to many of folks, but to me, right now, I am exhausted. It's like all uphill, higher elevation. So you can hear the breathing. Whew. It's real. But we're almost there. We're almost there. Final stretch of the uphill battle. I've said it many times, I know. I would change my ways, I know for sure. When all the crows decide to leave. They settled down beneath my feet I've got it right and I got it wrong We are back at Pearl Bay. Yeah, so it was a nice hike. I'm like, that was an excellent hike. High five. Nice job. Yeah. But you know what I think I need after all that, with all this soot? What's that? <laughs> What's that? A shower! Shower! Woohoo! Cold shower, but it might be warm. So up to this point, we can truly say this has been an enlightening and much needed experience. We knew this was going to be an unforgettable experience. And we also very quickly realized that RV van life living is not as easy as some people make it look, and it's not for everyone. It's a true way of life, and we get it. The one major thing this community of RV van lifers share is the passion, the freedom of the journey, the exploration, the feeling you get behind the wheel of your home on wheels. It's truly hard to explain, but you know when you feel it. During van life, wow! Let's see. Here it is, right here. A little, little warm water from a boiling pot. A little warm water. Oh! Hope you don't get that nice rise of resistance shirt messy. That's an amazing shirt. Oh, it's gonna be messed up already, man. No! Looks like a 
could uh, I could shave uh, topless. All right, he's gonna do it. Are you ready? Ready? Yeah. Go. Yeah, All much right. better. Now if I can open this thing up. Let's go. I'll try a little shave cream. See how this stuff works. A little bit of shave cream packet oh, here. Boom. Courtesy of probably like a hotel or nice. something like that. Put on my face. You gonna put on his face. There he is. Well, Down and up. Uh, Santa Claus so it goes there. Yeah. Wow. Huh? Yeah. Woo. Nice job packing. Good job, babe. So are we all set and ready to go? I think so. Oh wait, wait, one more thing. Oh yes, yeah. that's right. Gotta bring the air vent in. <laughs> that's important. I don't want to drive away with the air vent up. No, you do There we go. Nice. That's it. Take that all the way down. Nice job. Gotta lock it in here, we're ready to go. Boom. All set. It'll fly. Ooh. Did you catch it? Nope. Wow. <laughs> I was like, wow, Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> Yes, are you ready, Pearl? Pearl says she's ready. Pearl's ready. We've got about a two and a half hour drive back to uh, Phoenix. Nice. Uh, Let's there do it. We go. what to expect with this off-grid minimalistic boondocking experience except to expect to take things day by day keeping an open mind to things we weren't used to or would have to adjust to you know having the open road as your home and not having to adjust to a check-in check-out process was just the tip of the joy we found on the road the best thing dave and i learned from this experience is that this rv life journey for us is just getting started and while we enjoyed Pearl and appreciated her for taking very good care of us, it's time for us to get our very own, y'all. <laughs>